example, that would slide right here. Okay, so we know that X, so this would be, let me write it, X plus Y, and then vertical angles right here, X plus Y equals 2Y. So we have some equations that we need to solve. So here are some relationships that are true, and there are some others. So if I focus on this one and I subtract Y, I know that X equals Y. Hmm. Well, that's a good piece of information. So then over here, I'm going to replace the X with the Y. So Y plus 2Y equals 180. Combine like terms, 3Y equals 180, divide by 3, and Y is 60. Well, then if Y equals 60, then X also equals 60 degrees. And last, we're going to finish with a construction. So in any parallel line construction, so watch out for the word parallel or perpendicular, the first thing you do is draw your transversal. So I'll do that in green. You just need to draw it anywhere so that it intersects AB. It doesn't matter where it intersects. So if we all wanted to do it in the same spot for today's notes, let's just make it go through point A. Okay, you don't need to extend too far past a, but you want to extend as far as you can past P. Okay, now what we're going to do is we use the corresponding angles. So what that means is is I'm going to copy this angle right here, which has vertex A, okay, the vertex of this angle is right here in red. I'm going to copy this angle up at point P. So to copy an angle from unit one, we take our compass, we put it on the vertex of the angle we want to copy, and we draw an arc. The arc has to intersect both rays of the given angle. So this is one ray, which is the transversal, and then the line, which is the other ray. Then I'm going to slide this compass point up to the new vertex where I want to copy the angle, which is going to be a P. I'm going to draw the same size arc, or a little bit longer. It has to be at least the same size. Okay, so right now, uh, this point matches up with this point. I need this point right here, so that point in pink. So to get that point, we now measure the width of our angle. So take your compass point and put it on the transversal where the arc intersects the transversal. And then let's measure the width of this angle. To show that we measured it, we make an arc. Not so good with my left hand. Okay. So now we're going to slide it up to not the vertex, but the intersection of the arc and the transversal, and I make that X. Okay. Once again, I measured from here to here with my compass point on the transversal. Sliding the angle up the transversal, putting the compass point here to make that X. Now through this point of intersection, we know that from unit one through any two points exists a straight line. I'm now gonna draw the line through these two points. And we are done. So it is parallel to AB. Well, actually not done yet because we have to construct CD. So I'm gonna put a point here and call this C and I'll use this point here as D. Now we have completed this construction.